One thing I have desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to inquire in his temple. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after. Lord, our Heavenly Father, we kneel before you, before your open word, as a representation of our desire to be in service to you and to our neighbors and to ourselves, to hold the principles of your word, your teachings that you have given us, to hold these principles before us as we also attend to the ideas that make us into better young women and young men and better maturing women and men and lead us into the golden or most useful days of our lives. To inquire in your temple, that is to seek out and better perform the things you have presented before us, that we may be of service, to help us be prepared to serve you in all ways, to give us alacrity and a willing spirit. Lord, help us to do these things and come into that presence, that sphere of love to you, which creates the kingdom of heaven on earth, the country that we will join when we leave this world and enter into the next. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so upon the earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. Amen. Please rise and say together the recitation in the uh, order of service sheets that you received when you came into the church. It's a recitation taken from the Gospel of Matthew. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your charitable deed may be in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will himself reward you openly. Please be seated. Our first lesson is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. You all are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how will it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be cast upon the ground and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they put a lamp under a bushel, but they put it on a lampstand that it may give light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before the world that others may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Amen. And from the teachings of the New Church and the work True Christian Religion, number 406. It is said that charity must begin with oneself. For one must provide for oneself the necessary means to live in the world, both for himself and for his family, both now and in the future. For unless one provides for himself the necessities of life, he is in want of all things. Amen. And finally, going back to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6. Verses 
verses 19 to 24. Do not, <clears throat> excuse me, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Amen. Please rise and join in singing the song on page 850, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. <clears throat> How many of you have been in this church before? And welcome to those of you who haven't been in this church before. Was there something that you could do to help prepare you to come into this church? Was there something you could do that would prepare you? What did you do to get prepared? Ethan's got his hand up. That happens. Did you do something to help prepare you? You had your hand up. Did you do something to help prepare you to come to church? You've never been here before. Well, you all did something to prepare to come to church. Some of us wore uniforms. Who's wearing a uniform this morning? Okay. Some of us are wearing different uniforms. My uniform is what I wear when I do ministry, when I do the service of the priesthood. And your uniform is what you wear when you're representing the ideas that have to do with scouting. Right? And so when you're wearing that uniform, does it help you think better about being a good person? Does it help you a little bit? Yeah, it might. It might. Because the scouting principles, the scouting ideas, they're kind of like our flags up here. There are principles or ideas that help us to think about how we can serve God, serve, who else should we serve? Does anybody know the three? Yes, Abby? So we serve the Lord. Aren't there three scouting principles? Three people that we are serving? Three, God? Say again? We serve the queen as well. Country, the community, 
and ourselves. Now, unless I've got something wrong, that's what I understand. Duty to God, duty to others, and duty to self. And those are what we would call principles. They're ideas that we could sort of say, right now I'm doing something that has to do with a duty to God. Here we are in church on a Sunday. And one of the ways we may decide to be of a duty or serve God is to come to church and worship. And that also is also a duty to others because we support one another. Same as when we're together in a troop or together in a group and are doing our scouting activities. We're there together helping one another. And service to self. Service to self seems like it could be the least important of all of them. And yet it's one of the most important ones because unless you take care of yourself, you can't be of any service to others, and you can't be of service to God. Which is one of the basic teachings out of the principles that our church is founded on here at Olivet. The idea that unless we take care of ourselves and those we're responsible for, right now in the present and also in the future, we can't be doing things that have to do with charity. Who knows what charity is? I'm looking at the end of the row there. Do you know what charity is? What's charity? When, when you give things to others. And what about higher ideas of charity? Is it just giving to others? Charity is being of service to others. And that's giving your service. It's also being of service to God by means of helping other people. And you have to start charity at home, they say. Charity begins at home. You have to be able to look at yourself and say, I'm going to treat myself with respect. I'm not going to do things that are going to get me into trouble or harm my body or my mind. And that's serving myself so that I can be of service to others. And it's always for that idea of serving others. So I said the principles that have to do with our scouting are like the flags. And who knows what these flags are for? I'm going to pick on this side right now. Do you know what these flags are for? Can you recognize any of those flags, Connor? Can you name all of them or some of them? How about the one right in the center here? I'm going to turn around a little bit more. You should all be able to recognize that very easily, right? Connor? The Canadian flag. At the end of the service, we're going to sing, O Canada. And many times people want to see where that flag is as they sing, O Canada. What about this flag here? Raise your hand if you know what this flag is for. Yes? Pardon? i got to say it a little bit louder. The scout flag. That's the scout flag itself with one word on it. Service. Is there another scout flag up here? So I'm holding these out because not all of us have seen them before, perhaps. And I'm actually going to take this one out to unfurl it. What's that one say? Yes? Be prepared. Thank you. So I'm not going to do all of the flags, but every one of these flags stands for something important. Does anybody know what this flag is? Connor does. Abby does? Is this the Norway flag? What were you going to say, Connor? Or, I mean, uh, Gray? Love and peace flag. Okay, and is that a flag that is used in scouting? This is the flag that we use in our church. The new church flag standing for love and wisdom. And we love to have that here too because this church is hosting this service. And so we stand for the principles that have to do with bringing love and wisdom together. And that's what our flag stands for, good and truth. So today is thinking day. Now, is it thinking day just for the girls? No? Claire, help me out here, it's right. And is that for all scouting or primarily for the girl side? That's what the girl guides call it. Okay. Then thinking day is the day when you stop and you reflect upon things that are important in scouting. And this year, Thinking Day is to reflect upon your impact, your impact on 
what you do for God, what you do for others, but your impact on yourself. And so I was reading, preparing. Isn't that a principle of scouting, to be prepared? I was reading about some of the ideas that have to do with your impact. Understand the meaning of impact and the power of positive change that you can bring. So what positive change are you bringing right now? Anything? Sitting, listening in church, is that a positive change? You think maybe if you learn something that you can take from church and apply it, that you can have some positive change? Or even if you just can be able to learn how to sit quietly in church. That helps you prepare for so many things in life, doesn't it? Just thinking, well, I'm going to practice, and I'll be able to have a powerful impact on others who want to focus, and I myself to learn and be educated by just sitting and listening. People in regular churchgoers that do it every Sunday get very used to that. And some of us who aren't so used to being a church kind of squirm a little bit. We can try to get used to it. But it's up to you, and that's another scouting principle, it's up to you to be educated from what, what God within you calls you to learn. So the impact you have on others from yourself, that's one of the things to help think about. Does anybody know what this is? Can you see what it is? If I got a little closer, you probably could easily tell what it is. As soon as you know what it is, raise your hand, but don't say anything. As soon as you know what it is, raise your hand, but don't say anything. As soon as I opened it up, some of us recognize that it's a pen knife. Do you guys ever use pen knives or knives in scouting? No? You never use knives in scouting. Help me out here. You never use knives in scouting. No? Okay. But when you're holding any kind of thing that can hurt you, you need to be prepared to handle it correctly. If it's not a pen knife, that's fine. The point of bringing this out was to just talk about the principle about being prepared so you don't hurt yourself. So you don't hurt yourself. Do you think I could hurt myself with this pen knife? Absolutely. Have you ever hurt yourself with a knife? I hope not. Who's ever cut themselves with a knife? A lot of women's hands are going up because a lot of women handle knives more than a lot of men do. But I've certainly hurt myself with a knife. The idea of thinking day and the idea of coming in today, Baton Powell Day, his birthday is February 22nd. When he was rather older, he found a beautiful woman to marry. Guess what her birthday was? February 22nd. And I think they thought, wow, this, maybe this is something because we're so much different in age. But they got married and they seemed to have lived a lovely life afterwards. And she was one of the people instrumental in doing, uh, helping uh, help girl guides get going and, and help the, uh, the, the boys were with Baton Powell and some of his fellows. And the girls were started uh, and helped inspired by his wife. So it's a day where we celebrate Baton Powell and what he did along with a lot of other people. A lot of other people. We're trying to help people understand how best to be of service to God, to their country, to others, and to themselves. So I hope in celebrating today you do some thinking about how your life and what you do impacts others. And you help do some thinking about how you can help other people because that's one of the principles of scouting. And how you can be prepared to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself so you can be of service to others. And lots of different ways to take care of ourselves. But one of them is to be healthy and to know how to handle things. And if you don't know how to handle things, to go and get help from others. Very important. That's why a group or a troop, that's why scouts can be strong, is they all look out for each other. They all help to be part of a better whole to serve country, God, and self. Amen. Please rise and join in the next song, please.
please bow your heads and join in prayer. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to serve you, to serve our community, our country, the people around us, the people that are in the various groups that we are a part of, church groups, school groups, scouting groups. Help us to be prepared by knowing how best to serve you, how best to help other people. Lord, help us to give our attention to the obedience of your word, the things which our heart tells us are the true things from it, that we may follow you. And Lord, help us as we are today taking time out to think, to help think about the power that we have to impact others, the power that you give us to help other people. Lord, let us reflect upon these principles, these ideas that are so important to you and spoken of in your word, and so important and spoken of in scouting, that we may truly be the best person we can be, that we may truly enjoy the benefits of being with one another in community and in obedience and service to you. Amen. The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Amen. And please turn in your liturgy to page 848. We will sing, O Lord, our help in ages past, immediately followed by the singing of O Canada, and then the flag processional out of the church. <laughs> 